Holy shit. Uh, where to start? Where to start? I didn't see this coming at all. I don't think anyone ever saw this coming. Microsoft has purchased Activision Blizzard for $70 billion. That's billion. Not million. Billion with a B. Last acquisition, I think, the largest was $11 billion. And I think that was Tencent making a purchase. I forget what game it was that, it, that was purchased. But that was the largest acquisition previously. This is big. This could either be good or bad. Now, on one side, this could be good because Microsoft could potentially clean up Activision Blizzard because they've got problems over there. They got some serious problems. I'm not going to go deep into what all the problems are. Most of you who have been following gaming news knows Activision Blizzard's in some seriously deep shit. Their company's not doing so well. Not only is WoW floundering for reasons that aren't really truly connected to what's going on at Activision Blizzard, but uh, what's happening there is not making things look good. It's validating what the crazies in the feminist community have been saying about men, which is not true generally. What they are saying about men applies only to a small subset of men. Yet they're generalizing and say all men are the problem. No, not all men are the problem. Only a small subset of men are the problem, but they're generalizing and saying all men are. And that's the issue with them. They've created this thing in their mind that, that it's... That it's all men doing this and it's not it isn't <sighs> and they've got a serious problem over there so this could mean that microsoft's gonna fix it now will they fix wow world of warcraft's got some issues not related to the stuff that's going on with the california investigation and the sexual harassment and all that other stuff and and Bobby Kodak being a douchebag, which we'll get to that in a little bit. But um, could this result in World of Warcraft getting cleaned up, getting fixed? Because I've been watching Zeppla and I've been watching Asmongold and I've learned there's a lot of reasons why World of Warcraft is having issues. For one thing, doing anything is a massive time sink and a grind. Like the simple thing of being able to fly in a zone takes weeks sometimes. Whereas I could get the air currents to fly in a, a zone for Final Fantasy XIV in a day. All you have to do is complete the main scenario quests within that zone, get an air current from the final quest in that zone, then do some, do a few side quests to get some air currents from them, and then use your compass to find, use your aether compass to find the rest of the air currents, and you could fly within a day, or in just a couple of hours. No, <laughs> this, you've got to go through all sorts of stuff, and you've got to grind hard for all sorts of other things. The game doesn't respect your time, whereas Final Fantasy XIV does. And, and World of Warcraft has been having a lot of problems of people leaving the game. They have only like one realm that is populated and the rest are virtually vacant. One realm populated and the rest are have so few players that they can't get content done. That's how bad it is with World of Warcraft. That's how bad it's gotten. That's how far the game's fallen. And could this could this mean that they're going to get that it's going to get fixed? I don't know. Uh right now this deal's not final. It has to go through regulatory 
stuff, red tape, and it should be finalized in 2023. Until then, the two companies will operate independently, although Blizzard will probably start making some changes now um, to prepare. Bobby Kotick is still CEO. Bobby Kotick is a scumbag. Now, I've seen some tweets and I've seen a, uh, a thing from um, Phil Spencer. This is one of the big announcements. Here's the press release. And down here, uh, somewhere, where is it at? It's on here somewhere. Yeah, we're... Uh, somewhere here where the teams will be answering to Phil Spencer when the deal is fine. Oh, here it is. They'll report, the business will report to Phil Spencer, CEO of Microsoft Gaming. And based on tweets made by Phil Spencer about Bobby Kotick, basically tells me when the deal's done, Bobby Kotick's out. They won't kick his ass out. They won't fire him. He probably will never see the inside of a JSL. What'll happen is, is you'll get a boilerplate, boilerplate announcement saying that he is moving on to other, um, he's moving on to, you know, other projects. They thank him for his service and you know, he blah, 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 all the, all the great stuff. And he'll have his golden parachute. He's got his bag of money. And he's going to say, see ya, suckers. And he's out. So Bobby Kotick is likely gone. He's going to be out of there. Whether or not Microsoft cleans up Activision Blizzard, I don't know. Um, this could go either way. This could be worse, or this could be better. Activision Blizzard could get cleaned up, because there's some seriously fucked up shit happened there. Um, and they could fix this problem. Activision Blizzard could end up being better off for being a part of Microsoft. Uh, or it could be worse. It's hard to tell here. Um, Microsoft has somewhat slightly changed their image. They're still a corporation. They're still somewhat douchebaggy. This fell some problems for PlayStation, though. I'll tell you why. This fell some big problems for PlayStation. Why? Because of this. Call of Duty. Right now, Call of Duty is on the PlayStation, the current Call of Duty. Any future Call of Duty games produced by Treyarch and Infinity Ward will likely be, if they follow the same formula that they've been following with, with their other acquisitions, they've been following the same formula, future Activision Blizzard games, especially Call of Duty, will be Xbox exclusives, Xbox and PC. So, PlayStation users, you're probably shit out of luck when it comes to future Call of Duty games. So that will mean that Xbox has Halo, Xbox has Call of Duty, that leaves Sony with Battlefield. And Battlefield? Battlefield is in the dumpster right now. Battlefield's failing. Failing almost as bad as the current uh, Call of Duty. Actually, it's failing a lot worse. So they've got the Call of Duty franchise there, but it's a failing franchise. Well, the current the current game, Battlefield 2042, okay. is falling apart. Okay. Now, um, this also gives them Candy Crush because they get King in this deal. So they get that. And all the massive revenue that comes from that, King just pulls in an insane amount of money. Could we be seeing console versions? We already have console versions of Overwatch, I believe. We could see console versions of StarCraft, maybe. A console version of World of Warcraft. According to Zebla and um, Asmongold, they've been slowly 
paring down the amount of abilities that uh, characters have to where they're just a few buttons that you mash, which they could take that further and make it to where it will work on a controller. I mean, Final Fantasy XIV works on a controller just fine. And, um, no, that works on a controller just fine. And, um, Elder Scrolls Online works on a controller just fine. One question to ask in all of this is, will they integrate the payment system for WoW into the, into the Xbox Pass system? If they, if they were smart, they would, because it would be more money for them. Yeah, don't know if you heard Tigra here, but um, Tigra behind me. But uh, will they integrate World of War? Will they integrate World of Warcraft's purchase the subscription the subscription system into Game Pass? They would make more money if they did. They would make more more money if they did. Also, uh, ESO is already that way. It's ESO is. It's integrated into the Game Pass. Oh, then they're definitely doing it. So I, I look forward to that because it will give WoW it will give WoW players more for their money, and it'll give Xbox subscriptions more game for their money. Yeah. So they basically, don't. it would get more for their money, as he said. So and World of Warcraft system requirements aren't that high, so it could easily run on an Xbox. They could easily run this game on an Xbox. Um, they might get a slight graphical update maybe it's hard to tell because we're still a year out from this deal being finalized if the ftc approves it so we don't know my gold. microsoft would have never started this if they couldn't actually finish it true what he said Asmongold gold said that he said they wouldn't have started this if they couldn't have yeah. finished it Asmongold gold said that he that it, microsoft wouldn't have started it unless they couldn't finish it so, so I agree with them. This will happen. This will likely happen. Because this is a huge acquisition. Because this, this gives them lots of properties. Lots of property. Not this just Activision Blizzard. It gives them properties from Raven. From... Um, I don't even know how many games are involved given the number of studios. In Sledgehammer. Game. Infinity Ward. I mean... Well, Treyarch and Infinity Ward are mostly Battlefield. I mean, sorry, Call of Duty. And then there's Raven, High Moon. Uh, I don't recall what Toys from Toys for Bob does, and I've never heard of Demonware. But this gives them a load of properties. This is a, this is a stupid amount of franchise. Yeah, this is a stupid amount of franchise. This is this is a lot of power. And if they follow this, as I said, if they follow the same formula as they did with past acquisitions, future games from them will be Xbox PC exclusives, meaning no more Call of Duty on PlayStation for the first time in like ever. They might maintain what some that might still be there, but any new ones probably wouldn't show up. Yeah, this is this is pretty big. So I I had to do like quadruple takes when I saw the amount they paid for this. Yeah, seventy. I was stunned. Billion. I'm like, that mean, what did Disney pay for Star Wars? What four billion? Four billion for Th Disney this paid is, four this billion is for Star Wars. Stupid amounts more than that. Yeah, this is stupid amounts for that. This is the largest acquisition of a gaming company in ever. ever. This this is the record. There they, was they one set a record with this. The, the the record was eleven billion. I think that was ten cent by another company. I forget which one. When 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 Dave told me about this this morning, I literally thought he was in error and was only seven billion. I literally thought he was in error when he told me this morning. Wow. I like no no no. You mean seven? He says no seventy. I'm like no. Seven. No, he goes, no, 70, and brings me the page to prove to me, you know, 68 point something. I'm like, oh my God, we, we, who, who has that amount of money? Yeah. Well, that we know. <laughs> Microsoft has that kind of money. They drop that on, they drop that in cash. They're like, 70, Cha -ching. You, you just don't drop 70 billion on a whim. Anyway, I'm going to keep my eyes on this. Um... I'm definitely going to keep my ear to the rail. I, I have nowhere to look for industry news because I keep abreast of that. 
So I'm going to keep my eyes on this, and this is a developing story. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more videos out about this, a lot of analysis on this. There's going to be people who Their are... Their stock is up. Blizzard stock jumped $20. Oh, yeah. I, I imagine if, if, if somebody knew this was coming, I'm sure that everybody on the insider trading market's probably already got their got their tachings out oh, of this. Oh, definitely. A lot of money. Ha a lot of people have made lots of tons money of money off of this deal. Yeah, lots of people made lots of money today. We know Bobby Kotick's going to have his bag of money as oh, when, he, his parachute when he jumped ship. Jump ship. He's headed for the door with his parachute on. Nice goldy color. Holy crap. It is stunning today. Today yeah. was stunning game. Today was stunning. What a way to begin the year with something big like this. So Master I like what was I think it was one of Asmund Gold's jokes. It's like Master Chief is now Master War Chief. <laughs> Master Chief in um uh Heroes of the Storm. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna keep my eyes on this story and keep you guys updated on on this. Um, holy shit! Anyway, I have been Mike the Zorch. Behind me is Tigra, if you've heard him. And uh, yeah, I will keep an eye on this and report in uh, future videos. Thanks for watching.